Property Valuation Appeals, Misconceptions versus Facts. This video will talk about how properties are valued, the valuation requirements, important dates you need to know, the appeal process, and the appeal success rate. Part 1, How Properties Are Valued. In Davis County, we use multiple regression analysis to value our residential properties. Multiple regression analysis uses statistics to explain the relationship between independent variables, which are the property characteristics, and one dependent variable, which is the anticipated sale price. To put it more simply, we look at what properties have sold for and compare their property characteristics to non-sold properties to determine what the property value is. Part 2, Valuation Requirements. Utah state law requires counties to value properties at 100% of fair market value. However, as long as counties are between 95 and 105% of fair market value, we are in compliance with the law. Utah Code defines fair market value as the amount at which property would change hands between a willing buyer and a willing seller, neither being under any compulsion to buy or sell, and both having reasonable knowledge of the relevant facts. A question we are often asked is why the county values are so much lower than what they can sell their houses for. It really is all about the timing. You need to understand that we are using sales that sold last year to determine this year's value. In Davis County, we use several years of time-adjusted sales in our analysis. By law, we have to value the property as it stands on January 1st of each year. July 22nd is when the notice of valuation is mailed to each taxpayer. That means that by the time you look at the value, it's at least seven months old. In an increasing market, that makes the assessed value look low. Part 3, the appeal process. Davis County provides an appeal application with each valuation notice. To appeal, you simply need to fill out the application, gather evidence, and submit to the county before the deadline of September 15th. The top of the application asks for basic information about the property owner and the property being appealed. You are required to state what you think is the fair market value. You will also need to provide evidence supporting this value. There are six reasons you can appeal your value, and I'll briefly explain each one. The first option is a recent purchase of your property, typically no more than one year before the valuation. Be advised that in a rapidly increasing market, the older the sale, the more appreciation will be added to the sale price for a more accurate assessed value. The second option is an appraisal from a professional appraiser. These appraisals are typically done when you purchase or refinance your property. You do not need to pay to have an appraisal done for you to appeal your value. The third option is to talk to a realtor and get a list of sales. Make sure your realtor understands that the value is as of January and not to provide sales that just happened. Also, make sure the sales are similar to your property in both location and characteristics. Most realtors will provide this service for free. For commercial properties, you can choose option four, which uses the income approach. Some information you can supply is a rent roll, income and expense statement, operating statement, or a profit and loss statement. Option five is for factual errors. These errors must be objectively verifiable, like the size of the property or the amount of finished basement. Saying the value has increased is a fact, but not a factual error. The final option is if you qualify for the primary residential exemption, but you are not receiving it. For more information, please watch the video on primary residential exemptions. The final step is to sign the bottom and return the application and evidence to the county. In Davis County, all appeals are filed through the Tax Administration Office. Part 4, Appeal Success Rate. In February 2021, a survey was sent to several residents in Utah. Of the 220 people who responded, 80% of them knew they could appeal their property value. 
However, when asked how many appeals were successful in getting a reduction, the people surveyed thought only 30% of the appeals got a reduction. In reality, the success rate is much higher. Over the past 10 years in Davis County, an average of 75% of the people who appealed got some sort of a reduction. This is a chart showing the past 10 years of appeals in Davis County and the percentage that got a reduction. Feel free to pause the video if you want to study this more closely. 2020 had a lower than average success rate. One reason for this is some people appealed and just stated COVID with no supporting documentation. Without documentation, these appeals got dismissed for lack of evidence. Hi, I'm Lisa Manning, the Chief Deputy Assessor for Davis County. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our office at 801-451-3250. Thank you.